Good day and welcome to CTI News Series, The Executive Outlook. In this video, Mr. Fain is back with his look, at where things stand with the cruise industry shutdown. This video was recorded on April 19, 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Richard Fain, CEO, The Royal Caribbean Group. Hello again to all of our travel advisor friends. We here in Groundhog Day at the Royal Caribbean Group send our very best wishes. For over a year, I've been making general and circumspect comments about the situation we face. Recently, however, the pace of progress has accelerated, and I thought it might be helpful if I presented my perspective on the current state of play all in one place rather than the confusing set of random bits that we've all been seeing. A few things have happened to precipitate this change. You all know about the changes in the science, the vaccines, the testing, and the contact tracing, they've all dramatically improved. And that improvement has driven a fresh look at the state of affairs. Add in the arrangements we're making with the local communities to deal with an incident if it occurs, and you have a dramatically improved situation. We are also seeing a change in the mood in the country. While cases are seeing an uptick recently, the longer term trend has been very encouraging, and that has driven a mood to gradually open up our society. The other important change is that we now have data from operations around the world. Over 400,000 people have taken cruises. That successful experience has not only given us comfort about the safety of cruising, it has given us data to discuss with the CDC and other health authorities. Based on that data, over 30 countries have already granted permission for cruising, and we're optimistic that the CDC will too. You have also helped. Your voice and the voice of so many small businesses across America have demonstrated that there is a strong desire to see cruising treated like so many other businesses and allowed to operate under safe guidelines. That loud voice has been clear and it seems to be being heard in Washington and in Atlanta. Based on the advances in science and the data provided by our experiences abroad, the CDC is engaging in a constructive dialogue with us in the industry to enable a return to service in a safe and healthy manner. It is obvious that sharing data, information, and viewpoints drives a better result for everyone, and we're pleased to have the opportunity to do that. We're also pleased that the science and the data have advanced so far in just a few months. The CDC has publicly stated that this could enable cruising to restart as early as mid-July. We agree with that assessment, and we're more optimistic than ever that a realistic path forward can be achieved in that time frame. That would enable a summer season in Alaska and elsewhere. The final decisions are up to the CDC, as they should be, and I caution you that we can't prejudge their decisions. Nevertheless, the science today is clear. Our willingness to do what it takes to protect our guests, our crew, and the community we serve is strong. And the, and the new leadership seems ready to have the kind of dialogue that could lead to a constructive outcome. So what can you as travel advisors do? It turns out there's a lot you can do. Getting the word out is important. Letting your clients know that cruising is restarting already outside the U.S. and hopefully soon here as well. Letting Washington know that you care is important too. We need them to know that this matters. We need them to know that small businesses across the country are hurting and that they need the economic driver that cruising represents. We need them to know that millions of Americans are desperate to get out of their isolation and back to safe and healthy cruising. You can also get the word out to act responsibly. The pandemic is not over. As eager as we all are to move on, we can't let our guard down in this last stretch. The consequences of the disease are getting better, but that improvement has slowed and is in danger of getting worse if we get complacent. The variants are a real threat. We can overcome that threat, but each of us needs to be part of the solution, getting vaccinated, wearing our masks, etc. In sum, things are decidedly looking up. 
Our dialogue with the CDC has improved significantly, and the data we have obtained from sailings abroad is driving increased confidence. As the old adage says, there's many a slip twixt cup and lip, but we're getting closer every day. And don't forget to wear your mask and to wash your hands. As always, we thank you for watching. Remember to leave a comment, like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, keep wearing your mask, wash your hands, social distance and stay safe and be blessed.